Aloha everyone and welcome to Lillian's Vegan World. It's the only show in Honolulu where we talk about the vegan lifestyle and plant-based diet. I'm coming to you live uh, from the Think Tech Hawaii studios in gorgeous downtown Honolulu and the, the times for my show have now changed from Thursday uh, to Thursday 1 p.m. every second week. So looking forward to seeing you at this time again. I'm so excited to introduce my guest today from Vegan Hills General Manager Kelly Camo. Yeah, hello. Welcome, <laughs> Kelly. Thank you. Thank you so much for taking out the time yeah. in your busy schedule and busy restaurant to come and talk to us. <laughs> Thank you. It's exciting <laughs> to be here. I know. Do you know that when I first came to um, Honolulu for the first time two years ago, my first, the very first restaurant I went to was Vegan Hills because nice. everyone was talking about how you know awesome the food was and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. I do have sort of a little soft spot in my heart for your restaurant. And uh, I did visit Vegan Hills uh, a couple of weeks ago with my husband, mm. who's a non-vegan, who's what I would call the opposite of a vegan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he loved it. Good, good, awesome. He, he honestly <laughs> did. He loved it. I, I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. So, yeah, welcome. <laughs> Tell you. us all about it. How's it going? Yeah. So you recently started... Working there as the general manager yeah. this year? Is that, yeah, yeah, is that this right? year. Um, I officially became general manager, I think, in June, but I was mm -hmm. like co running it um, since uh, the end of October of last year. Okay, great. Yeah. And I've been a waitress there since the first month it opened. Wow, yeah. <laughs> how awesome. And Thanks. you've like worked your way up mm -hmm. to now really running the show yeah. there, which is fantastic. That's and you're so doing exciting. a wonderful job. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tell us, first of all, for mm -hmm. people that don't know what Vegan Hills is. What is Vegan Hills? Vegan Hills is an all plant-based vegan restaurant. Uh, we strive to um, showcase how eating healthy doesn't have to be eating boring. It mm -hmm. don't have to go without flavor to eat a full balanced diet, basically. Mm -hmm. So yeah. yeah, we just show that you can eat really, really good food. You don't if you want to go vegan or if you mm -hmm. want to go plant-based. And we've had so many people, like your husband, who is completely not vegan, come in. But I'd say like 85% of our return customers are not vegan. And they keep coming really? back. Yeah, because they love how the food makes mm -hmm. them feel. They love how it tastes. They say that they can't believe it's not vegan. Uh, and we've had a lot of people be like, man, I could go vegan if I could eat this food every day. That's like, amazing. You can, except Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> except Tuesdays? Yes, we're closed on Tuesdays for now. We're working on being open seven days a week in the future. Okay. But we want to really hone in ourselves first before we can expand to mm -hmm. all the hours. If, if it were feasible, I would love to run like a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week vegan place that anyone could go into at any time and get whatever mm -hmm. they want. Yeah, <laughs> that would be my dream. But It's that's, hard work. Yeah. So the hours at the moment, Tuesday, you're closed. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're not open for dinner at the moment. Not at the you? moment, okay. no. Yeah, we're leaving those open more for um, special events. We do have a couple of those coming up. Uh, at the end of the month, but we Great. can talk about those later. Definitely. Yeah. Yes, um, so I would love to hear about them. Yeah. I personally, I love eating dinner, of course. <laughs> so we do have it in the works and we're mm -hmm. trying to come up with the right menus for it and uh -huh. putting together the recipes, which is a lot of fun. <laughs> but still, even, even if you're not opened, mm -hmm. you know, in the evenings, you still cover all of those food groups. You can have mm -hmm. like an awesome breakfast at lunch. You can have dinner at lunch because mm -hmm. you, your, your dishes are just sort of you're covering all the gorgeous comfort food yeah. that you can think of and you've veganized all these dishes. So mm -hmm. my husband in particular was just amazed at the pulled pork that is made from jackfruit mm -hmm. that you served. You did some, yeah. you have some sliders, I yep. think they were. Yeah, the barbecue jackfruit sliders. And we make our own um, coleslaw for that as well using an almond milk based um, mayonnaise. Kind yep. of. Yep. But it's not like thick like mayonnaise. My boyfriend who hates mayonnaise, mm -hmm. he really likes that it's law. Um, and the jackfruit, we just marinate it with uh, some barbecue sauce, a little bit of liquid smoke to give it that flavor. And it is insane how <laughs> much it mimics that. As, as an animal lover myself, I used to be uh, completely not vegan. I, the day before I went vegan, I was eating uh, Kahlua pork quesadillas. And then the next day mm -hmm. I was like, nope, no more. So. Uh, someone who really misses those flavors and those textures, mm -hmm. it's really exciting to be able to find out how to recreate those with plants without mm -hmm. having to harm any living animals. Yes. Um, yeah. And to be able to 
reproduce it for the public, basically. Exactly. I mean, yeah. it, how far has has vegan food come? Even just in the past few years, For it's real. just it's incredible. Yeah, and I love that you're serving stuff like that because going back to what you mentioned earlier on, vegan food is not only for vegans. Mm -mm. I drum this, you know, through everyone's brains. Everyone I meet, you really don't. I actually don't cook for vegans. <laughs> I cook for non-vegans, not mm -hmm. not because you know I prefer to, just because um, people are curious. We're at the age where people are curious. They are looking for healthier options. They are, you know, wanting to try these new things that are just going crazy all over the world, all mm -hmm. these new meat products and stuff. But getting back to that, yeah. jackfruit, yeah. Um, those sliders, definitely mm -hmm. I hope that viewers go in and check out Vegan Hills. Kelly, I just want to step back a bit. You, yeah. you said that you just mentioned that you were eating Kailua pork or something mm -hmm. the day before you became vegan. Mm -hmm. What brought... What, how what, like, did you end up? It? Yeah, what yeah. It? it was pretty crazy because I, for my entire life, basically, was always like, oh, I'll never give up. Me, like, vegans are crazy. How could they, like, <laughs> you know, the cheese, though, what about cheese? And, yes, um, that's so true. Yeah. I was at a point in my life where I was just, like, eating out of control. I was working late nights um, as a waitress in a restaurant in Waikiki, and then I'd get out of work and then would just go eat bar food, and I'd eat, like, 20 chicken wings and, like, yeah, in one sitting. Typical bar food. Yeah, yes. typical bar foods. Mm -hmm. And I was just like the heaviest I'd ever been. And I was not able to like perform my work well. I wasn't mm -hmm. feeling great. And I was just like, man, I really got to find something that will help me like curb how I'm eating so that because this is definitely out of control. And I had kind of been thinking about it for about a week of like what I could do to change my eating because I was like, I know myself, I'm all or nothing. Like if I okay. don't cut something out or if I don't drastically change something, I'm not going to change. And then I saw this five minute video on YouTube called Dairy is Scary. And it's about like the life of a dairy cow and how inhumane it is. And I always called myself an animal lover and like an environmentalist. And to see those facts in my face like that when I was already in a mm -hmm. very susceptible mindset, I was like, ooh, this is not something I want to put my money towards anymore. And I was like, wait, I'm looking for a way to eat better. I don't like what dairy is doing, like, to the animals. I wonder okay. if maybe vegan is right for me. And then mm -hmm. I was like, I'll try a vegan challenge for seven days. Mm -hmm. I'll go complete cold, cold turkey, so to speak. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And um, I'll just try it for seven days. If at the end of the seven days I can't do it anymore, then I tried it. And then at the end of the seven days I had watched all of the documentaries on Hulu and Netflix and YouTube. I had looked, read so many articles. I looked into the nutrition behind it. I looked into the environmental impact. And by the end of that week, I was so turned off by meat and dairy and eggs that I just never turned back. It was <laughs> pretty crazy. Yeah. But yes, it only took you a week to, to realize how, mm -hmm. how really you don't need it. That's yeah. just the fact is that you can live a, you know, a very healthy mm -hmm. um, life on a plant-based diet. And yeah. yeah, you become aware of so many things, don't you? Yeah. These documentaries that you talked about, there are so many now mm -hmm. to even mention, but, you know, they are very eye-opening and I do recommend people take a look at them. Why mm -hmm. not? You know, you've got nothing to lose. Exactly. Might, might just change your life for the better. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It changed mine for the better. It's definitely one of the best decisions I ever made. And this I'm is so about, glad to hear that. Yeah, thanks. It, this was about three and a half years ago that I first really? went vegan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, February of, I, I can't math right yeah. now. Yeah. Whenever so, three and, and a half yeah, goes. <laughs> so you never you never went back, you never mm -mm. cheat cheated or no, never there were a couple of times where I would like accidentally be served something with mm. it. Um yes. and I instead of getting letting myself get upset about it, I took it as a learning moment to mm -hmm. observe how my body reacted. Mm -hmm. Because during that first week when I tried it, what I really noticed was how amazing I felt after just seven days. Like I felt amazing yes. within the first couple days, but then after seven when my body had really fully detailed talks mm -hmm. all of the things I had eaten before mm -hmm. uh, I was like wow I feel so good and so anytime I would accidentally consume it because you know with quitting anything you have those withdrawals and like oh if only and the biggest thing was going out with my friends because mm -hmm. they all still wanted to go to those same places after work and I could no longer have like most places you go the only option for vegans is fries or rice which is yes edamame as, yeah or edamame <laughs> which, as much as I love potatoes I know so, <laughs> only so many french fries you can have late at night <laughs> true yes yeah that was the hardest part but 
I only ever thought about it, but then I would even like look at my friend's food and be like, maybe I could take a bite. And then like the closer I'd get to it, I'd be like, nah, mm -hmm. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, as long as you're balancing it out with all the other right. good stuff, you, you have yeah. to enjoy your food. And that's one, one of the things I loved about your restaurant. Really, it caters mm -hmm. for every palate possible. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely do check out Vegan Hills. Kelly, let's have a look at some of the food that you serve there. Mm. Um, let's have a look at the first one. These are photos that I took from the lunch that I enjoyed there a couple yeah. of weeks ago. So I did get the uh, nice. loaded fries. Shots. Yes. Loaded fries, the guacamole and mm -hmm. chips. Um, what else? The sliders down to the left, the oh, bottom yeah. left. Those are the, the, the jackfruit, jackfruit sliders. sliders we were talking about earlier. The gorgeous salad that you recommended, the yeah. Brussels sprouts. It's called Do the Brussels. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. I love it. Oh, that's, that's all, that was beautiful. And, yeah. and uh, come back for more vegan hills and uh, more vegan fun stuff. Aloha and welcome. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea program. Uh, every other Monday at 1 o'clock, I am here on deck with various guests talking about different topics of the world and the ocean and international law, different areas where we all have seen and want to travel to and learn about. Please join me for my next Law Across the Sea program. Aloha. Aloha, everyone. I'm Christine Linders, and this is Think Tech Hawaii. My show is Movement Matters, and this is a show brought to you to talk about how to get rid of things like your low back pain, scoliosis, TMJ dysfunction, ankle sprains, pretty much anything that you can do with your body or hurt your body, I am here to bring to you the cutting edge strategies that you can do right now easily on your own to help get out of pain and get back to doing what you love. Life is better when you listen to your physical therapist. Tune in Tuesdays at 11 a.m. every other week for Movement Matters. Aloha. Welcome back everyone to Lillian's Vegan World. I'm here with my awesome guest Kelly Camo from Vegan Hills, my favorite vegan restaurant in Honolulu. It is delicious. And uh, I did name today's program, Kelly, Vegan Hills Leading the Way in Plant-Based Cuisine yes. in Honolulu, turning comfort food into mouth-watering vegan versions for all to enjoy. Yes, yes, that's <laughs> definitely a big part of what Vegan Hills is all about, mm -hmm. just showcasing how diverse plant-based foods can be and how it can be made delicious for anyone. It, exactly. I, I totally get your place. Mm -hmm. I, think, um, I think you need to make Vegan Hills in every little um, area in Honolulu <laughs> so I don't have to go far to get, <laughs> to get my fix. Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look, Kelly, at some more of the photos that you prepared of the these gorgeous dishes that you're serving there. Yes. Look at that. Awesome. So these are two <laughs> of our cocktails. Mm -hmm. uh, the one on the left is our morning moonrise with lavender simple syrup, vodka, mm. uh, organic vodka too. We have um, an all organic bar. Great. Uh, pineapple juice. It tastes like a spa in a glass. It's so good. And then mm. the one on the right is our Mega Mary. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. So it's a uh, like a 30 ounce drink. It's got your choice of either vodka or tequila. And then it comes with two potatoes and a breakfast slider on top. It's been a dream of mine to have something like that. I don't even like Bloody Marys uh, or I never liked uh -huh. Bloody Marys before I was vegan. Mm -hmm. um, and, but I saw there are places around here that do like the crab claw and they do like these massive Marys. And yes, then I'm like, all of a sudden I want them. one. Yeah. But most Bloody Marys have anchovies in them in the mm -hmm. Worcestershire sauce. Right. So it was always my dream to kind of make uh, like a vegan version of that, mm -hmm. that vegans can come in and enjoy and also have that epic time that I feel like a lot of it is like I really want to make vegan versions of epic times that I feel like I might miss out on sometimes. Yes, that is, su that is such a great thing to have on your menu. Mm -hmm. The only reason I didn't order it is because <laughs> I wanted to try so many dishes. Right, yeah. <laughs> and that just looked like it was going to be really filling and you know, mm -hmm. satisfying. But yeah, definitely. I'll have to try. Yeah, one of those. we do have a, a mini Mary as well for people who want to eat more than that one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I love it. That's very creative. Thank I, you. I like that. <laughs> Let's have a look at another one, Kill. Uh, yes, our taco salad. Mm. Yeah, it's made with a quinoa, walnut, black bean 
uh, air quotes, meat. It's just a toasted mm -hmm. walnuts and quinoa together with a bunch of really good spices that taste like taco meat over Mama. like lettuce with chips. Oh. I think I'm going to start dribbling. Yeah. Seriously. Like, Can so, someone get a nap? That in? looks so good. <laughs> no one, no one's going to miss anything eating something like that. You've mm -hmm. got, you've got the crunch, you've got the sour, the salty, mm -hmm. the savory, the creamy. But there's so much going on yeah. in that bowl that you, it, it's just like one huge Flavor satisfaction <laughs> punch. Yeah. yeah, love it. What did you call that bowl? Uh, the taco salad. The taco salad. Yeah. Okay, awesome. And another one. Ah, the ah, pancakes. This, the famous pancakes that yeah. I keep telling everyone about. Yes, these are the banana pancakes. So they have some bananas cooked inside it, a little bit on top for decoration as well or for garnish. And it comes with our house-made coconut with cream, chocolate sauce, and peanuts, and a side of syrup. It, oh, our pancakes are so fluffy. I love them so much. I suddenly <laughs> feel like my bowl of fruit after the show is just not going to be um, not going <laughs> to get, get me it. there. <laughs> it's not going to cut it. <laughs> I, I tried the, uh, the berry pancakes with, mm -hmm. the, with that gorgeous, luscious berry sauce. Yeah. And that coconut cream. I, I couldn't believe that they were vegan. Yeah. I actually don't eat pancakes much, but the reason we ordered pancakes was that the table next to us ordered them and my <laughs> husband and I were going, ooh, <laughs> they, they look all right. And, and we were so full by that stage. We were like, okay, well, let's just order some and try them. <laughs> Kelly, they're the most fluffy, moist, oh, mm. God, delicious pancakes I've tried. Oh, I'm getting hungry. In a restaurant. <laughs> they, they are amazing. I'll, I'll go there just to eat that Thank and, you. you know, maybe try one of those Mega Mary's for research purposes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's all about the research. <laughs> Let's do another one. What else have yeah. we got? Oh, yes. nice. Yeah, on the left here we have our two nut melt sandwich with mm. potatoes. And then the one on the right is the breakfast slider, the one that comes on the Mega Mary we were talking about earlier. Okay. The two nut melt is one of our more popular um, one of our more popular sandwiches. Mm -hmm. It's made also with jackfruit and we make a dill mayo in-house. And the combination of the two, the way that we prepare the jackfruit, mm -hmm. it tastes like tuna would. So, really? Yeah, a lot of people come in um, and asking if it tastes just like tuna, and mm -hmm. then they try it, and they're like, this is so crazy, it tastes like childhood. I mean, it's a, a melt, so we melt the, our vegan cheese right on there. We wow. put our house-made pickles in there. And I was a fan of tuna melts when I was a kid. So to, again, have that in this restaurant is so awesome. <laughs> that is so nice. Do you eat like that at home? Um, I mostly eat at the restaurant. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I do. Um, I would work there. Yeah. Like just, <laughs> just so I started can, working there. I can get so fed. I can have the food. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And so sometimes I do try to like recreate the recipes at mm -hmm. home. Uh, the one that I always have trouble making on my own at my house is the cocoa whip. For some reason, I don't know. It's just maybe the walls of Vegan Hills are magic. <laughs> <laughs> no, I must admit that that's a gorgeous cocoa whip you've got going there. Thank you. Um, Again, almost scary that it, it's not, it's right. It's not the real stuff. It yeah. tastes very, very like mm -hmm. a normal whipped cream. Yeah. But, but it's got that nice light coconut edge mm -hmm. to it. So when you're eating it and devouring it, you, you don't feel guilty at all. Mm -hmm. that's, one, that's another good thing about plant-based food. You eat it and you know, you know it's good for you. It's doing good things for you. You haven't harmed anything to you know, get it on your plate. So it's kind of a very... Um, yeah, very Comforting. nice experience. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Kelly, I'm going to show you some stuff that I've been making in the past few months, a little glimpse at Lillian's vegan kitchen. Nice. Um, uh, first, no, we do have to show this other <laughs> I was slide. Say, I made that one. <laughs> <laughs> Here's me trying to rip off your, your yeah. dish. <laughs> you sure you don't want to work at Vegan Hills? <laughs> Is this a scramble? Oh, oh no, uh, it's a uh, mac and cheese, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. It's really good. Another oh, one yes. of our really popular dishes. Mm -hmm. We've just started trying some variations of loading mm -hmm. the mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So now we have like a chili mac. Uh, we thought we put Yum. some of the uh, barbecue jackfruit in there mm -hmm. with some Korean chili threads and a miso paste. To make like a loaded yes. jack mac. Yeah, so it's a nice twist around. to the, mm -hmm. the mac and cheese. Yeah, we really encourage people, our guests to come in and add whatever they want to the mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So what we'll suggest a lot is people add like jalapenos or a tempeh bacon, maybe some kale. Right. We have a whole list of all the additions that we have and people can really mm -hmm. build their own mac and cheese, yep. just like our grilled cheese mm -hmm. sandwich called Cheese Your Own Adventure. 
That is, <laughs> that is so, I love the play on words. Thank They're you. so clever. Yeah, we're all about puns. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. No, I did, um, I did notice on your menu that you do have all these additional add-ons and stuff that mm -hmm. you can, so you can really walk in there and turn, yeah, like you said, a mac and cheese into your own you know, yeah. funky version of it. Yeah, make it your own. That's what we're about. Yes. We love it when people express themselves through food because yeah. we're expressing ourselves through food. Definitely. What a great yeah. idea. I love that concept. Um, if anyone out there hasn't been to Vegan Hills yet, I totally recommend it. It's in Kai Muki, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, do you have parking available uh, there? There or? is a paid parking lot behind us. Okay. Uh, we don't validate for it, but it's only like 75 cents an hour. It's definitely on the oh, cheaper end yes. of all the parking around us. Um, mm -hmm. And then there's uh, like a little side street across the road from us, and there's other like metered parkings around. Okay. So no problem with the parking. No. And do you do you take uh, reservations? Yes. What's yeah. the number? Um, our phone number to make reservations is 808-200-4488. Mm -hmm. um, we, if we don't answer, you can always call back or uh, just leave a message saying how many people are coming, your name, your phone number to reach you at, or you can send us an email, mm -hmm. veganhills.hi at gmail.com. I'm sure that'll come up at some point. Or you can head to our website, and they have a lot of directions there. Uh, we highly recommend reservations. They're not required, but we are a very small restaurant. We only have 16 tables, and for wanting to feed as many people this delicious vegan food as possible, um, we try to make it as organized and easy to do as possible. But we do recommend reservations, so you're at least guaranteed to get a spot right when you want to, because mm, uh, it goes from zero to full in like two seconds. <laughs> I noticed. It was packed when yeah. I was there, and yeah, definitely um, do get a reservation in. The hours, Kelly, that yeah. you're open? Uh, we're open every day except Tuesday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay. It's yeah. a nice five-hour window mm -hmm. there. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, we do our last seating and last call around 2.45-ish, mm -hmm. but we can still do takeout between 2.45 and okay. 3. So if you're, like, rushing to get there, just call us ahead and mm -hmm. uh, place a pickup order, and we can do takeout, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, I, I noticed that you're doing takeout, mm -hmm. takeout as well, so that's... Oh, get to Vegan Hills. Yeah. <laughs> get, get your vegan yes. fix at Vegan Hills. Let us feed you. <laughs> <laughs> you do have one more um, photo for us, Kelly, that I'd like to show. Mm. Nice. Oh. Yeah, there's the tuna. Sorry, the tuna again. get the melt again. It's just yes. so good, you have to show it twice. Yes, <laughs> it is. And then these ones on the right, those are our Y nachos. We have the Ohana size and the mini. Uh, the mini is just a third the size smaller, but it's more personal sized. Oh, Those okay. are the ones that my parents still ask for me to send <laughs> to find a way to send to them. Oh, yeah, it's got like two different kinds of cashew creams. There's yum. one cashew cream, and then our jalapeno queso, which has that cashew cream as the base, mm -hmm. and then we add some vegan cheese, jalapenos, and all sorts of other delicious spices to it to make it taste like queso. And then it has our house made quinoa black bean chili on there. So yummy, Kelly. <laughs> Sorry, I know I wasn't hungry before either. <laughs> <laughs> I actually, I, I actually don't eat um, like a normal person. I do what we call <laughs> intermittent fasting. So mm. I eat only for four hours a day. Oh, yeah. From about between 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. Anyway, I feel like I'm really, really not going to stick to that today. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are open today. <laughs> I know. Jeez. Well, <laughs> let's, um, let's have a look at my video, Kelly. This so this is what I've been um, cooking up in my kitchen in the past few months, and we can just chat while I show that. Yeah, oh, these look good. So I, <laughs> I do have a sort of a, a strong Japanese influence with my cooking, having lived there for 30 years, mm -hmm. and that's where I worked as a chef and cooking instructor and stuff. So there's all lots of stuff going on here. Oh, those look good. <laughs> Some fresh tempura. I, re I remember, was it last month, that you had a very famous chef from Japan yeah. come in and do an event at Vegan Hills. Yes, yeah. He came in and did um, an eat shop, mostly mm -hmm. where he uh, cooked some of his, I still can't pronounce it, shojin ryori. Shojin ryori. Yeah, mm -hmm. there you go. It's a type of cooking that's very um, basic and more honed in on the plants and simplistic eating and minimalist eating. Mm -hmm. And he did a demonstration on a couple dishes and we provided a sake pairing with it, with the dishes okay. that he had. Uh -huh. Yeah. Right. Nice. How, did it, how did you like the food? It's, it was good. It's, that, that food ori originally comes from the monks, what the monks mm -hmm. used to eat. Yeah. So it's very, as you said, very minimalistic, very 
simple flavors they don't really do right. much to the food so. right but it was crazy how even those like they were very simple flavors we actually took one of the dishes that he made there mm -hmm. it was like three or four ingredients that we already had in the restaurant and so we asked if we could use that recipe um, for one of our dishes mm -hmm. and it was the carrot sesame oil one with just cumin seed and salt and it's just those four ingredients mm -hmm. and you just massage the carrots a little bit so yep. that it incorporates the flavors mm -hmm. and it is just so powerful in mm -hmm. flavor uh, yeah, we were like, this is this is amazing, and it was really fun to watch all that he did, like a stuffed mushroom. Mm -hmm. um, what did he stuff the mushroom with? Uh, the cap of the mushroom, mm -hmm. and then yep. I think a little bit of tempeh. I forget mm -hmm. the other okay. thing. Mm -hmm. um, I was passing out sake as he was. Mm -hmm. I was trying to like look and talk at the mm -hmm. same time yeah. and not get sake yeah. on the table. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's a it's completely different to what what you're doing at Vegan Hills, yeah. that type of cooking. So it's nice to nice that you're having these little little events that yeah. can, you know, introduce people to other other types of vegan food. Yeah. That shorjin ryori um, in Japan is becoming popular again because finally in Japan the vegan movement, if you want to call mm -hmm. it that, is starting is just starting to happen. So Yeah. So exciting. Yeah. yeah. So they're starting they're starting to bring back all of this this old traditional way of eating, which is nice. So that's that's what I've been doing. Nice. Lots of stuff um, going on. I do have my events posted for the end of this month and my October events, which you can find on all of my um, forums under the Lillian Vegan name. So my Facebook page is under Lillian Vegan. I have about 200 recipe videos on YouTube, all of my original vegan recipes. So lots of stuff going on there. And of course, you can watch this awesome show every <laughs> second Thursday, 1 p.m., live from downtown Honolulu. We're very lucky to be living here and, uh, you know, in, in a place that allows this vegan food and restaurants like this to flourish. I mean, yeah, thank you. I'm yeah. so excited for you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what have you got um, at Vegan Hills that's new on the on the menu yeah we are trying to put out weekly specials so we've been playing our, i like to play chopped with my chefs um say that you have to use everything that we have in the pantry make me something new and I it's been a it. lot of fun but this week we're actually revisiting an old uh, an old dish that was really popular mm -hmm. uh, it's called dakalbi we take soy curls uh, which is very similar to tofu but in the last stage instead of putting it in the block they freeze dry the soy and then curl it up and then you just uh, rehydrate it and marinate it and we marinate it in a way that tastes like kalbi beef and we put it with this red, spicy red miso paste and put Korean chili threads on top and it's a very fantastic. Korean inspired dish. Yeah that's fantastic. Yeah. You've, you've really covered all of the um, food groups, so many cu cuisines going on there. So yeah. Kelly it's been awesome having you on the Thank show. You. Thank you so much yeah, for taking course. the time out. You'll be seeing a lot of me. <laughs> a lot of me <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of everyone else so um, definitely if you haven't checked out Vegan Hills in Kaimuki please do do so the food is fantastic Kelly will take care of you and make sure that you um, get lots of plant-based yummies in there so thank you so much Kelly yeah, thanks for having me and huge mahalo to Think Tech Hawaii I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks have an awesome day and mahalo